Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Will Bay. Um, thank you guys for taking a few minutes to stop by the collection room, take a look at the comics with me. Now, you guys know I am a big fan of AC Comics, and in this case, uh, today we are looking at uh, Dragonfly. Uh, Dragonfly is kind of a spin-off book of the Fem Force, which, you know, you guys hear me talk about Fem Force a lot. I try to do a lot of videos of Fem Force, uh, just because it uh, doesn't seem like anybody else does. Like, like, who else is following this book? You should be, but, but, but nobody is. Um, so, uh, AC Comics, this is Dragonfly. This is Summer, 1985. Uh, seems like every books I've been picking up, all the books I have lately, have been 1985 books. I think 1985 was a heck of a year for, uh, for independent comics. I'm not sure why exactly, but I'm gonna have to, I have to look into that, because it seems like, man... It's always 1985, 1985, 1985. You get these books. And I will point out, this is buck seventy-five, which your average Marvel comic was probably going for about 60 cents. Um, so this would have been... This is a lot more. This is a lot more expensive. Wow, she just got shot in the eye. And she doesn't even care. Broke her glasses... But she has bug eyes, and the bug eyes can apparently not be killed by bullets. So you can shoot somebody in the eyes. Okay, that's creepy. So we've got two little brats arguing. Uh, Robo Man appears and literally just bakes them. Wow. No comic code authority on the cover here, my friend. Uh, if you like a lot of bug stuff, this looks like a good book for you. Uh, there is a lot of books that are bug-oriented. And then I'm just talking about Spider-Man, but like, uh, yeah, there just seems like a lot of bug-type characters. Anyway, it's probably because they're tons of fun to draw, and they give you a cool set of powers. The Wasp. There's like, uh, oh, The Fly. Uh, Impact Comic has a whole series. It's just called The Fly. Um, and I love his look as well. Tick, Arthur. Oh man, somebody's Volkswagen just got crashed. I love a good Volkswagen. It's a nice, uh, nice popping page there. Some more nice popping pages there. I don't know if you call those pinups or cutouts or whatever, but interesting. Interesting. Dragonfly issue two. So sometimes I talk about like how the books feel. These books feel quite good. Uh, well made. Probably probably more substantial than your Marvel and DC books at the day of the day would have felt. They feel very thick paper, thicker covers. They have a rigid, well-made feel to them. I know a lot of the independent stuff or the, as soon as you get off of Marvel and DC from those eras, uh, you start finding like, oh, this this was like made substandard. And a lot of times, you know, you'll find a lot of books that are. Thin paper, weird printing techniques, uh, thin covers. AC all did all their stuff pretty top notch. And pretty much always have, and so I, I've always appreciated that. Next issue, we have Stardust of the Fem Force. See, that's just a good page. That's a good, good-looking book there. Intervention with interview with John Byrne. Um, some stuff John Byrne did was good, but I I don't know. In my opinion, I think he's kind of overrated. But I mean, that's just me. I mean, I like I used to love Alpha Flight, so I appreciate he made Alpha Flight. And the the issues he wrote and worked on were good. I'll give it that. And. You know, I but I just I think he's kind of a little overrated. Of course, I don't know who'd be rated higher, so I can go with that. But we've got to beat up some street thugs. It's like a good staple of anybody. 
if you are, if you ever have a mohawk and you find yourself in a comic book and you're wearing a leather jacket and stuff, you need to get out of that comic book because you're about to get your ass kicked. It's just, uh, this is, it's like a rule. If you're dressed like Bebop, man, you need to, you need to get out of this book because you're about to get thrown down hard. And that's just the way it goes. Sometimes I get these older books, they feel a little waxy inside. These do not, these feel quite good. So I don't think there's been any like bleeding of the colors or inks or anything like that. That's always sad. Now, this I don't really understand. Um, this is issue four, this is issue four. We might have to look at the dates here because I'm not sure exactly which of these came out first because this was color, but not glossy this is extremely glossy and vibrant pages i'm like look at that same price but and that's a heck of a book that's a heck of a page look at that look at how sharp those are in comparison let me pop one open Oof. see that's what i'm talking about uh very glossy pages which usually when they do that, you see a pretty good price hike, but I did not see that with these. So that's nice. I'm sure everybody back in the day really appreciated that. Well, these were on sale before my time. If this was 1985, man, I would have been, uh, I'd have been four years old. So I would not have been shopping for comics off the shelf yet. Now, some people start comics young, most of them aren't starting that young. I don't even know if anybody's reading comics hardly anymore. Certainly not at four. Uh, Atomic Mouse. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, so sometimes it's hard to tell with AC books. Is this a new story or is this a reprinted story from ye olden times? A lot of times it is. I would say this looks like an older story to me that's been reprinted. Probably 1953. Crazy story for 1953. Let's look. So this is the other issue for... Eighty-six. And this one was... What did I say? Did we see? Was it 85? No, this is 83. Okay, so this one must be way out of sorts with this one. Huh, that's crazy. Did I read that right? 83? October 83, so, okay. That one would be way, way before these others because this would have been the next one in the series of this. I just wondered why there was an, okay, I'm gonna put that over there then. It's an odd issue, odd issue out. We'll get back to our regularly scheduled books. Uh, with giant insects and somewhat waxier pages. There's something on the wing. Something on the wing. And ooh. Ooh, we can see his cranium. Oh. Big beetles. I feel like she fights a lot of giant bugs. Which maybe I would think that she would be more like friends with these bugs or perhaps control the bugs, but nope. Your name is Dragonfly, you're going to fight giant insects and have to kill your own kind, apparently. Ew, Mantis Man. Just Let's just take a second to appreciate Mantis Man here. There he is, Mantis Man, right there. Let's see what's... The book looks a lot different. It looks like we've shifted suddenly. Uh, art looks different. The words are way tighter. It's wordier. Yeah, this book seems to have quite a bit of different feel going on with it. Except that we're still fighting giant bugs. Lots and lots of 
giant, giant bugs. Mantis man, mantis man. Take it, he's not a dragonfly fan. AC Comics back to white heat. Shooting the Nazis. Issue number six. I'm not sure how long this series ran. I have a feeling, okay, if anything from this series is an example, these two children are about to be incinerated by some space robot guy. Nope, guess not. I guess they'll live this time. See, I was just starting to think that the panels were getting boring, and then you throw in some stuff like that, pulls it right back out, and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I kind of like that. That looks, that looks pretty good. Get some actual action and something dynamic going on. I don't know. Maybe I've gotten spoiled, but uh, single panels, you know, small, tight single panels, kind of kind of get old for me really quick and I kind of like some variety. I like some stuff that's done differently and let's let's break it up. Now, I don't know what just happened, but this issue, though it's in great shape, feels incredibly thin. Uh, weaker paper, weaker page. Looks like we took a quality slump here, which, you know, that is another thing I've noticed. AC does tend to bounce around with what they use. Usually it's pretty high quality, but this one feels considerably thinner. Maybe they were having a bad month. I knew they bounced back and forth between color and black and white all the time, which I don't mind so much. Although when it comes to Femme Force, I probably prefer the color. These other, some of these other books, it doesn't really matter that much to me. our last book issue eight and we'll see if it is the last one because i really don't remember do we do we burn another child can we stop just like we're just gonna burn kids all the time okay you filth you burned more children Wowza, that's a different look. How come the actual insect lady has less creepy eyes than the lady who is an insect? I think I said that right, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that forehead. Looks like a character from a completely different book packed into this book. Continue, honest, would I lie to you? Okay, so I'm gonna assume that they're not lying to us and that well okay well no this issue this magazine dies with this issue oh they're gonna discontinue publishing uh bill black publisher interesting note of fact bill black still still doing stuff with ac comics still publishing books still doing stuff um, I know he still runs a lot of the Facebook pages and stuff, so, um, he's still around, still, still working on it. Anyway, that's, that's Dragonfly. You've pretty much seen all there is. I did not know that that was a complete series. I'll make a note of that. So there it is. There's, that's what I got. That's my story. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.